this big contraption. That is a dryer. Our dryer went out the other day. And so I have been on a mission to get another one. I went all day yesterday looking and um, got the run around. They said, well, we don't have that at our location, but this other location has it. So I was like, okay, you know, well, thank you. I told my husband and so he went um, last night after work and well that didn't go so well they are like no we don't have that oh we've got the four models he was like well we don't want the four models so he started driving home and he stopped at another appliance place well, all they had was a gray color of the model that we were wanting and uh, he said so he called me and he said hey you know do you want gray and I'm like ah, I don't really want gray I've just never had a um a gray washing machine he was like all right well, I'm on the way home so we decided we'd call a couple different whenever he got home so we worked on that and you know it was either we couldn't get anybody to come to the phone or um no sorry sir we don't have that and just we got this whole complete run around so like we went to bed like real real discouraged because we still had not picked out or located a washer and a dryer this past weekend we had like really bad weather like thunderstorms and stuff in fact about two hours south of us, a tornado came through there in Hattiesburg. So anyway, like we have a, had a lot of lightning and stuff, and there were even some times that we didn't have power. Sunday afternoon, my husband had gone to the grocery store. I was upstairs doing some exercises, and the electricity went out. Well, I didn't really think much of it, so I went on about my business. Well, later on, we go to turn the dryer back on, and it just starts like shorting out and like had this horrible like odor almost as if it was on fire so my husband like unplugged it and, you know tuned to it and everything so we determined we needed a new one so anyway long story short we went to bed very discouraged without um we're thinking that maybe the power going out that's why i was telling you that we were thinking maybe that because the power went out um is why we lost the dryer so it's like you know if you replace one you better replace the other because i mean like three months down the road or three weeks down the road you could lose the other and then you're gonna be back at square one of having mismatch because i mean they change models all the time and you'll end up with something that you don't even want so anyway went to bed very discouraged because we couldn't find one blah blah secondly we can't just get any washer and dryer because when we built our house, there's only a certain like space, which is a whole nother story in itself, but we only have this certain space that literally the washer has to be 27 inches wide and the dryer, same thing, 27. So it makes it really, really hard because most, like you'll find like say the washer being 27 inches, but then your dryer's like 29. And so, I mean, we have absolutely no room to have that many more inches. Like 27 pushed together like this goes in just like this. That's why we were very adamant about this particular um, set. And then also on the plus side, it was on sale. So like we really wanted it. So I got up this morning and I got ready and I went back to the first place where I was yesterday. And this sweet little lady that helped me yesterday, she also helped my mom about three months ago. I went with mama. mama was looking for a wash and dryer also, but she got a different type but anyway long story short she helped my mom so i remembered her real sweet i told her what happened yesterday afternoon about them telling us that you know no sorry sir we don't have that on hand blah blah so she was like all right well let me go to the back and look because um i really think we have one back there so she went back there and she come back and she's like real frustrated but she was like you know it's gonna be just a minute you know you can have a seat and get comfortable if you want to so I was like, you know, that's fine. I was um, messing on my phone, checking emails, just trying to get some work in and um, listening to uh, a guy speak about writing. And then there was even a blog post that I was reading about blogging and stuff. You know, I just try to fit that stuff in whenever I can. I was trying to make the best of my time and spending time like that and um, just doing like research. So a little bit later she comes back and she says, I do have one. I had to get this guy to climb up there to look and see because the number on the box on the outside is not the right number. Somebody has written the wrong number on there. I was like, well, okay, in, in my mind I'm thinking, 
you know, is she sure? Am I gonna end up with the wrong thing? Because that's just, that would just so be my luck that we would end up with the wrong one at home. She was like, yeah, and so I started feeling pretty good about it. I was like, all right, well, my husband's gonna come this afternoon to pick it up. I said, but what about the washer? And she said, well, we have one back there, but someone else has already purchased it. I was like, oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. So she said, but there's gonna be another one on the truck tomorrow. She says, so you can go ahead and pay for both of them. She said, what kind of vehicle do you drive? And so I tell her, and she said, um, well that, pull it up here to the front door. She said, that will fit in there. I'm like, ma'am, I don't think so. I mean, you know, my back end's got like this curvature on it and that's just not gonna go in there. And she was like, no, I'm serious. Like pull up here and let me look. And I was like, all right, well you get that tape measure right there and we're measuring. Cause I didn't want to have to go through the whole bit of them, bringing it out to the car and trying to load it up and it not work. And I'm, that would just really mess with my mind. And so she's like, okay. So I go up there and I, first of all, she stopped and started talking to somebody else. So it took her forever to come out there. So I was like, I didn't want to pull up really up to the door and just park and sit there because to me, I mean, that's just not the proper thing to do. And so I pull in the first parking place. Well, as soon as I pull in the first parking place, I was supposed to go back inside and I was just going to tell this lady, hey, my car is in the first parking place. If you want to come out there with me and look, we will. I went to open my door like this and I start looking out my window and I can see her up there at the door. I start backing up and I go up there and she looks and she's like, oh yeah, and I'm telling her about there's this curvature, like like in the middle it's like flat like this and then it starts curving. So I mean like you're losing inches as you're doing this. She's like, no, I, I, I really think it's gonna fit. So we go back inside and um, she said, oh, I'm gonna go back here in the back and I'm gonna measure it. And she stopped and she looked at me and she said, that dryer's gonna fit in your car. I just looked at her and I said, Okay. Okay. So she went on to the back and started doing her thing. Took longer than I thought it should have, which is, you know, typical. That's what we all think this day and time. So anyway, she goes back there. A while later, she comes back and she's she's got it on a on a dolly. So she carries me up front and she's already made the invoice on it and everything. So she made me stop at the cash register and I paid for everything. And she got one of her managers to come out there and help put it. Well, naturally, what do you think happened? Come on, tell me. The box would not fit. So I took a deep breath. And I was expecting her to put that thing back on that dolly and wheel that thing back in the store and wait for my husband to come back tonight to get it. I had already called my husband to make sure that it was okay that I put it in the back of my car because I mean I didn't know how heavy this thing was and you know I just some vehicles just aren't intended to be carrying heavy stuff so I didn't know if he would be okay with that you know think that it would be okay so I was looking for his uh leading on that well he was like oh yeah you know uh, what well, kind of at first he's like no you know he was like well you know give it a shot if, if it works it works and so he was, he was game with that. So anyway, I was anticipating, I was supposed to be calling him to tell him that uh, this dryer is just not going in this car and that he's still going to come over here after work, his rat racing job, and then still have to come over here after work. I mean, like, how annoying is that? I mean, when you get off of work, you're just ready to come home now. She asked that guy, her manager, she said, have you got a box cutter? He said, yeah, I think I got a box cutter in my pocket. She said, give it to me. So she gets that box cutter for him. She goes to cutting at that box, and they get that whole thing off. You know, they throw all the box over to the side and everything. She looks at him, and she said, you ready? He said, yeah, you ready? So they pick that thing up, and girl, guys, they got that thing in the back of my car. And that that's it, that's it right there. See that blue tape? That blue tape, that's the white. That's the silver backing. It's turned at an angle. I know it looks so weird back there. But let me tell you why it's at an angle. So I told her I appreciate it. You know, she was real nice to me because she knew that we had had a hard time and getting everything lined up and stuff. So she went on about her business and I really thanked her. I think I even had to go to the desk and sign a piece of paper saying I picked it up, blah, blah. I get in the car, I start driving off and all of a sudden I can hear that thing sliding. I was like, oh my word, here we go. This thing is fixing to hit my back window and shatter what money I saved because they were on sale. I just was about to 
up to flip my lamp. So, I pull over to the side and I hop out and I look and evaluate the situation. And evidently the dryer's not real heavy. I mean, cause honey, I can, it's got plastic around it. I can literally pull that plastic and start sliding this thing around. So I went to the back and I pushed it around and I tried to angle it. Well, I angled it and I tried to close it and it wouldn't close. The corner was hitting the wind and it wouldn't close. I was like, oh my word, I'm gonna bust this one out myself. I'm trying to prevent it and here I am gonna bust it. I finally get the thing situated. And I get it situated enough and I start going and I'm just gonna drive real slow. Well, I was like, you know, if I had a towel, I could put it back there and kind of give it a little support. So I stop again, and I found this towel back there. My husband loves to keep him a towel up in the car. I get that towel, and I put it on that window back there. Well, anyway, long story short, I've got that thing wedged enough back there that I think that it's going to hold up until I can get home. I've still got to do a uh, school pickup. I don't want to drive all the way home. I mean, I'm just gonna drive home with a, a washer just to, I mean, the dryer just to say I, I've got it at home and I'm not doing anything. But here's the thing. I can't unload that thing. There ain't nobody at that house that can. I mean, what am I gonna do? Get the dog to do it? I decide I'm gonna go get me some lunch from Chick-fil-A. So I order, no, first of all, I pull up there, the window thing where you order the the menu, but it's it's not, you're not ordering at the, at the menu. That There's these two women sitting out there, one in each lane. And when I get up to the woman that's going to talk to me at mine, you know, hey, how are you? She said, well, I hadn't killed anybody today. You ain't killed nobody? I mean, this is Chick-fil-A. Why would you be saying that to me? If you are someone who works at a fast food restaurant, I, honestly, I don't care where you live. Don't tell your customer you ain't killed nobody today. Just ain't right. Well, she ended up being really, really nice, but still, you just don't tell people that. So she takes my order, so to try to make her kind of feel better about what bad day she thought she was having, I told her the very, I'm talking flat, short version of the whole story I just told you about this whole runaround about getting this washer and dryer. I mean, it was so small that it would just almost be like a sheet of paper between my fingers. That's how short of the story was. You got the better deal of it, I, I can assure you. So anyway, I order my food, I give her my card, and I pay. I go on about my business. As I'm pulling off, she says, it's going to get better. I was like, you're right, because the dryer's right back there. She had no clue that thing was back there. But you're right, it is going to get better. I conquered what needed to be done for my household. I get up there to that window. Keep in mind, I've already paid. So really, all I gotta do is get up there and grab that bag. And that chick, you know, she pulls out the receipt. I don't even know what the receipt is now. She pulls out that receipt and she says, you know, did you get blah, blah, blah? And I said, yep, that's me. So she hands me my bag. This is, this is the bag right here. Oh, see, there's the receipt. Okay, so all my stuff is in this bag. So as I'm pulling, as I, before I put my foot on the gas to pull off, I look in there. I had told them I wanted some Polynesian sauce, okay? That was at the checkout back there when I paid. She punched it in on that little computer, so they're gonna get me some Polynesian sauce. Well, I looked in that bag, and honey, I did not see no Polynesian sauce. So I thought, this is plum ridiculous. So I said, ma'am, can I get some Polynesian sauce? So she reaches over there, sure, reaches over there, she grabs two more and she says, there should be some in the bag. Well, I have to give it to the lady. When I got around the corner and got here and got situated to get my food out to eat, because you know, I'm gonna park. I mean, that way I can talk to y'all. All right, there was Polynesian in there. But let me tell you what they left out. You're never gonna believe it. They did not put a straw in my bag. Well, I can tell you this. They better be doggone glad that I already had a straw with me. You see this? That's a pink straw there. I keep that in my water. So they're lucky. They're real lucky I had this straw with me. So look. It's all gonna get better, okay? I'm gonna finish my lunch.